This is a video solution to an example problem where you have to write a math sentence using the summation of all the torques. To begin with, we'll start with the beginning of the math sentence, and that's going to be our little symbology. So we have a little counterclockwise rotation of an arrow with a plus symbol in the middle of it. That means that everything that's going to cause a uh, positive or counterclockwise rotation is a positive torque. And they've got the capital Greek letter sigma, followed by the Greek letter tau, and that stands for torque. Now I need to indicate on my little description where I'm finding the torques about. In other words, where's the pivot point or the axis of rotation? On this problem, it is the uh, Y force. So I'm going to put a subscript and I'm going to write Y force. Be descriptive, don't be too cryptic. You want it to be easily read by others. Now this has to equal two things. The first thing it's going to equal is zero in this case because the beam is not accelerating as it rotates. In fact, it's not rotating at all, so that makes it real easy. It's just equal to zero. Now the second thing it's going to equal is the sum of all the torques. So there's another equal sign. This is how all the problems set up. They all set, start off like this when you're writing that math sentence. All right, next step, let's find the torques. First torque is due to the force W, and W is four and a half meters away from Y, the, the pivot point. But torque is defined as a force and distance that are perpendicular to each other, and W is not perpendicular to the distance of uh, over to Y. So what I've got to do is I've got to find a component of W that is perpendicular. So it's going to be this side. If I make W the hypotenuse of a triangle, it'll be that red arrow that I've drawn. And since that's the adjacent side, that's going to be the cosine function. So the length of the side, or the magnitude of it, is going to be W cosine 20 degrees. That's going to become the torque, or the force for the torque. So the torque is going to become W cosine 20 degrees times 4.5 meters. Now I need to determine the sine of the torque, if it's positive or negative. So I'm going to use the pencil test. I'll slide the pencil across where I think the, the beam is. And with the help of my dog Sophie, I'll figure it out. Sophie's going to take one paw and put it on the pivot point, and the other paw it's going to go where the force is applied, and she's going to move the beam along the direction of the force. Now from this, I can see the rotation of it, so it helps me to visualize what's going on. A real simple test you can do with your pencil every single time. And from this, I can see that the pencil's been rotated in a clockwise direction, and I know that a clockwise rotation is a negative torque. So I'm going to put a negative sign in front of my torque equation. Now let's move on to the next force, that's x. So x is the next force and it is one and a half meters away and it's already perpendicular to the distance so that's great, I don't have to do any trig it's just going to be force times distance, so that's x times one and a half meters now I've got to figure out if this torque is positive or negative, again I'll use my pencil test slide my pencil over and with the help of my dog Sophie she's going to take one paw and put it at the axis of rotation and the other paw where the force is applied and then she's going to move the um, pencil in the direction of the force, so pulling down and that'll help me to visualize what's going on. So I can see that this is going to be a counterclockwise rotation. Counterclockwise rotations are uh, identified as a positive torque. So in front of my torque equation in my math sentence, I'm going to write a plus sign. Moving on to the next force. So the next force I'm going to deal with is Z. And the distance from the axis, or the, the pivot point, over to Z is one and a half meters again. And Z's are already perpendicular, so I don't need to do any trig again. That's great. But I do have a little problem. I'm running out of room on my paper, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw right below. I'm going to continue my math sentence. So I'm going to put a plus at the top just to show that I'm continuing on the next line. But I'm not doing anything here to indicate the sign of the torque yet. I'm just writing z times one and a half meters. Now it's time to figure out the sign of the torque. I'll use the pencil test. Slide the pencil over on top of the beam. And with the help of my dog Sophie, we'll figure it out. She puts one paw at z, the other paw at the pivot point. Pulls down the direction of the force. So now that helps me to visualize what the rotation is going to look like. So I can see from this rotation, it's going to be a clockwise rotation, and that's a negative torque. So I'm going to put a negative sign in front of that uh, torque equation. Okay, getting near the end now. Last force is going to be that B force. So um, the distance over is 3.5 meters, but B is not perpendicular to the distance. It's kind of at an angle. So what I need to do is figure out the component of B that is perpendicular, and that's going to be this component. Now, 70 degrees is opposite of this red line. So the trig function that deals with the opposite and the hypotenuse is the sine function. That means the length of this red arrow is going to be B sine 70 degrees. Before it was cosine because it was a different angle, but this one's 70 degrees, and so it's going to put in a different place of the triangle. So it's going to be the sine function. B sine 70, but B sine 70 doesn't act right there where I've drawn it. Instead, it acts at the same location that the angle B force touches the beam. So I need to move that over a little bit. 
And now the pencil test to see what this torque is. So you can see on the bottom of the screen as well, I wrote B sine 70 times 3.5 meters. Now for the pencil test, and it, last time, here comes Sophie. She's going to take one paw and put it at the force, the other paw at the pivot point. Move the beam in the direction of the force so I can kind of visualize the rotation. And from all this, I can see that it's going to rotate in a counterclockwise direction. And counterclockwise is a positive torque, so I'm going to put a plus sign. So now I've got my mass sentence. Zero is equal to negative W cosine 20 degrees times 4.5 meters plus X times 1.5 meters plus negative Z times 1.5 meters plus B sine 70 times 3.5 meters. And remember, those letters, they're just forces.